Hello, everybody. Welcome back to a good old brand spanking new episode of Wish. And oh boy, this is a special episode because we have a dragon girl now, Remriel. She just sounds like royalty and she, she's not uh, too bad of a, a looker, if I do say so uh, myself from my point of view here. Look at those gosh darn thighs. They are so thick. She's got the thigh highs on. Let's just get right into things. No more talking. Let's just, let's get this dragon girl going. Wow. <laughs> yeah, wow. Soma opened his mouth wide and couldn't help expressing his awe. The cliff where he stands was so deep that you can't even see it, see its end so. On the contrary, it caused you to have a dangerous, adventurous spirit of wanting to jump. I, I think... I think that's a mental disorder. It's just like suicidal. Uh, Cannon Mountain, in this Mother Earth where all the lives are burnt, there is an unwritten law that no human can enter here. Human, elf, furry, vampire, no one ever dare to enter. The reason is simple. The only breathing being within this mountain is just too deadly. And just before, there was a young girl who jumped out in front of Soma from the cliff below. Anyone would have recognized her from the first glimpse. That this young girl with raging eyes is the master of this desolate land. Two thick horns <laughs> protruding from the head. Wings on the back lost in the red flame. Thick tail first touching on the ground allowed her to land firmly. With piercing looks and a sense of being that can be easily recognized, she walked towards Soma gravely. She didn't seem ill-willed or threatening, allowing Soma to talk to her without weariness. Weariness. Sorry, I'm from Siberia. It is impressive. I didn't know she could climb up the cliff from a jump. You are impressive as expected, a descendant of Red Dragon. Yes, I am sorry if I was rude and offended you. My name is Soma Dakian. Nice meeting you, Remriel. I hope we get along. All right, all right. Um, man, the rankings after this episode will probably change. Uh, I'm just gonna throw that out there. She's definitely gonna be in the top three after this one. Now, calm down. Can you calm down just a bit and lend me your ear for a story? Oh, you are right. I have to be careful I don't fall off by accident. It will be followed by a huge consequence. I mean, yeah, that's, that's how it works. Haha, <laughs> you must be kidding. A nest? Um, what is this? That's not what I mean. It's literally a rock, this is. You kicked out what? Who? An intuitive and gener generous heart you have. 
I knew I would like you. Oh, thank you. I needed that. I was getting a little lightheaded from low sugar. Oh, that's what I forgot. Give me a sec. I will tell you after I finish my drink. Gulp, gulp, kia. I feel rejuvenated. Thank you, you saved me. Yes. To get straight to the point, I am here to ask you to help me. Yes, to be frank. Hmm, say that again? Yes, that's exactly right. Why? Are you bound to some magical spell? So that means you don't want to help us. What does that mean? Didn't you say you are part of the royal family? A princess and a gatekeeper? I don't quite get it. She might be the number one waifu at this point. She's responsible. She's good with children. Like, she is... She's that traditional wife you want and need. Like... This is who you want to have kids with right here. This is the one. Remriel. Write that name down. Go, you know what? Go, go on to Instagram, uh, Facebook. I, I don't know if anyone even uses Facebook anymore. Uh, any social media that isn't, you know, Facebook. Try to find a girl named Remriel. If she looks like this, you need to contact her. You need to get involved with her. This is my... Markapi Su tip of the day. Tip of the video. Tip of the day. Don't look at my tip. Okay, here we go. I get it. In other words, you need to stay here in order to protect the nest. Hmm. You wouldn't have to worry about that. I hid things to eat around somewhere within this mountain range. Oh, my food! Oh. Oh, this was going to last me for a month.
all human species are like this. I mean, even if we are a different species, you really don't know anything about us. Okay, I request you for a duel. I must make you work for the amount you stole my food. If I win, you immediately will be joining us on our journey. Deal? Well, hot dog. We got ourselves a duel here, fellas. Her HP seems a little low for this. I feel like usually... Like, we, we've been getting progressively harder, but hers is so low. I wonder if she's going to have, like, some sort of special ability. Uh, let's see. First move of the game. Let's go here. Okay, that's doing zero damage. Never mind. Uh, she does not have a high, high HP. Uh, I will be right back once we defeat her. Oh my gosh. Oh no. What does this even do? There we go. Achievement unlocked. Tail is soft. Alright. Yeah, so I think the magic just wasn't really doing anything against her. Like, only the physical attacks were. Which would make things very difficult if we weren't maxed out on, like, every stat. But look at, look at all of that. Look at all of that that gold that we are accumulating. I think that's going to do it probably for this episode. We'll upgrade our, our status real quick. Um, do we need anything desperately? I think our stamina is only for the sex scenes, so <laughs> I don't think we need that. Uh, recovery power? Fever? Let's do this one. Let's do that one again. Okay, that's probably good. Um, yeah, so that was Remriel's first little thing. I, I decided to cut this short because usually the second one is the longest one. So when I put one and two together, it just becomes like a super mega long episode. So we're going to save that for next time. So go ahead, do me four favors. Like, comment, subscribe, and as always, help me find a girlfriend. And bye-bye.